This week we've been looking at different aspects of Mongolia's economy. Today we have a report on nomadic herders who make up a third of the country's population. Now their way of life is an age-old tradition, but now increasing numbers of the younger generation are turning their backs on it. Shamim Chowdhury reports from Barunkara in northern Mongolia. It's been a way of life here for centuries. Mongolia's nomadic herders, dependent solely on their animals for food and income. <laughs> but for some young people, this simple existence is no longer enough. Bakchimik has lived in the countryside all her life. She's just finished school and now plans to move to the city. But her father is concerned about her decision. Like his ancestors, he's been a herder all his life. <laughs> I will support her when she studies and lives in Ulaanbaatar. Young people are now moving to the city more and more. I worry about it as one has to work in order to live. One has to know the nature of work and then live and experience hardships. I am happy that I will be going to the city to study. There are many people and opportunities there and I am excited about it. Like Bachamik, many of Mongolia's youth see education and jobs as their route to prosperity. Many herder families barely make any money from this existence. They live solely on the livestock they keep and the few vegetables they grow. Bachamik's grandmother has been herding for 53 years. She's seen the financial hardships herders suffer, but still believes life is better here than in the city. In the city, you need money everywhere. You have to spend money on buses and cars. In the countryside, it's not like that. We got our milk and meat for free. In the city, you have to buy even one liter of milk. I believe rural life is better. Batku's wife is pregnant. They hope their child will carry on the ancient tradition their daughter has chosen to leave behind. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, Barunhara, Northern Mongolia.